Talk with Woo-hoo. Gigi and Melody Marie, powered by Rebecca Davis State Farm. You guys, we have got our table set up because it's smoothie time. Smoothie time. Okay, who here likes a smoothie? I love I a do. smoothie. So, you know, most people, they go out and they go to different places and get smoothies yes. done. Um, you know, but one of the things is about that is, one, it could be a little pricey. A little pricey. Okay. Two, you know, you don't know how many calories are going you into know. it. So when you're on your healthy weight loss journey, you guys, we're going to show you actually how to have some delicious nutritional smoothies that you can yes. have for a meal replacement or actually as a snack. So the first one we're gonna make today is gonna be called Tropical Orange Delight. Oh, I love the tropics. This is gonna be really, really simple, you guys, okay? So, I'm gonna have Gigi, I'm gonna guide her. Okay, Gigi, I want you to take, we're gonna take one cup of frozen fruit, okay? This has um, peaches in it, pineapple, strawberries. pineapple, strawberries, I see some grapes. Yes. Okay. And this is basically just the the frozen fruit mix um, that you can get from your local grocery store. So we're gonna do one cup of that, let's dump that in there. Okay, awesome. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to have Gigi actually cut us up a half a banana and All place right. it into our blender there. Okay. One full banana. Now, does it matter? We're actually going to do a half. A half, half a oh, banana. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Half does a it banana. matter if the banana is like fully ripe or? Well, you want it to be ripe. Okay, you guys. It can be a little green if you like it a little harder. But me personally, I like them fully ripe because, and even if you might have like an old banana at home that's starting mm-hmm. to get brown and you don't actually want to eat it, dump it into your smoothie. It's still going to taste delicious. Okay. okay. Now, one of the other things, this is real simple. We put frozen fruit in there. We put one half, um, a half of a ripe banana okay now this you guys let's show them this i love this this is where the orange comes in you're going to put orange juice in there but i don't like to just put regular orange juice juice in there i like to do a lower cal orange juice so i like to trap 50 you guys and that's going to give it that orange delight taste that Mm -hmm. we like so we're actually going to put about let's see eight to 12 ounces of that so Gigi, actually let's put um we're going to make two for me and Gigi today okay. so let's go about 16 ounces right. in there and while you she's getting shake the it juice good. yeah shake, shake it up good okay so while she's getting the juice ready i'm going to start getting our blender together you guys okay yeah so let's go Let's take it right on up to to that 16 ounce. You can do less than 16 ounces if you want it thicker. So you might want to do like 10 ounces of juice in there. So let's dump that right on in there. Okay. Awesome. Yes, that's going to be nice. Ooh, this is looking and smelling so good, everyone. I wish you could smell it. Now, guys, you actually can use ice as well, too, if you want it to actually be a little thicker or a little cooler. Mm -hmm. So I brought some ice along, G. Let's go ahead and let's get that smaller cup right there. Let's go ahead. Is that going to make it? Even thicker. It's gonna make it fruit, even thicker. Fruit yeah. is already frozen. Yes. So okay. a lot of times, if you don't use frozen fruit, use the ice. But if you use frozen fruit, you don't actually okay. need the ice. But we're gonna add a little bit of it okay. today, just a few pieces. All right. To kind of give us that thicker, um, you know, okay, shake that we want. Sure. And then one of the things that most people miss when making the shake is the protein. Okay. Right. You gotta have protein gotta in have your protein. shake, you guys. You don't have to, but what if you don't? Then all mm-hmm. you have really having is fruit, you know, right. a little bit of juice. Let's right. add the protein in there to really make it a power right. point because when women we increase our protein intake, it actually builds lean muscle and right. it makes us burn fat. This and it's true. the same thing with men as well too. So one of my favorite proteins that I like is the Vi Shape. Okay. And the okay. reason that I like this is because it's really low cal. It's only ninety calories. It's non-GMO. It's gluten-free. Okay. It's also lactose-free, That's and it nice. tastes good. And what it's going to do is it's going to give that um, orange sickle delight because it's a cream okay. flavor. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add. Will that? It does it have like a kind of a cardboard kind no, of No, you're going to love this. Okay. They say this is the cake mix, um, the um, shake mix that actually tastes like cake mix. I love cake mix. Now, I will okay. say this. This is the first one I've ever been able to get my mama to drink. So that says okay. that it's actually right. good. So we're going to dump that in there. We're going to throw our top on there. And I know her mama. You yes. Can't, you can't pull the wool over her mama's eyes. So, so what saying. I tell you, um, if she can be pleased, anybody <laughs> can be pleased. I second that. You just going to snap it on there. We're going to do a good blend. Get it all the way in there. Blend it all the way up. Okay? Yes. I'm going to move this so you guys can see that blend on there. that 
that I have to actually hold myself. Now, if you want your smoothie a little thicker, you can just add more fruit to it. Um, but I would suggest stick to the quantity that we gave you okay. so that you don't overdo your sugar now, intake. Now, can I use this like in my Nutribullet? Yes. Uh, Oster? Yes, uh, absolutely. Okay. Yes, because I'm going to show you guys another one that you can actually okay. do with just, look at that. That's nice. Ooh. Yes. Then we're going to... And I added that extra juice in there so that me and Gigi would be able to have two of them propped up here. And then we're going to take our yummy little straws and we're going to taste. Ooh. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Cheers. Cheers. It's definitely got that sickle, orange sickle it appeal like to it. It's like an orange sickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's that one, you guys. We're going to make now, sure. Now, how many calories is this? Now. Each one of these smoothies that I'm mm -hmm. about to show you is no more than 300 calories. Because okay. remember, the actual shake mix is only 90 calories. Okay. We only use one cup of uh -huh. frozen fruit. And then we use anywhere between 8 to 10 ounces of the um, right. 50 cal orange juice. So okay. that keeps the calories mm. down as well, too. So that's our first one, you guys. Okay. I want to show you another one. Because some people don't like juice-based smoothies. Right. Some people like milk. Okay. Right. So let's look at that one as I'm our next one. I'm kind of like that. I like... Are you a milk yeah, person? I'm a milk kind okay. of because I love ice cream. For, okay. <laughs> so she actually likes hers. So, so anytime I feel like I'm eating ice cream, it's a win for me. Right. So you like yours to actually be more like a milkshake. Like a milkshake. Okay. So that's what we're going to I want to feel like do. I have like a milkshake. Yes. Now. Yes. The next one that we're going to do, you guys, I'm going to show you how to do a single serve, okay? okay? So you can have one of these cute little oysters, single serve. And this is going to make things really simple, like if you're on the go, at okay. work. Get you one of these babies, pack it in your bag or leave it at your and office. these aren't expensive. No, like right. how much does one of these oysters Those usually Those usually range? cost anywhere from like 15 to 25 bucks. You can get these really inexpensive. Right, not a big deal. Okay, awesome. So today... I'm not a big milk person, so mm -hmm. I like to do almond milk. I like to do almond milk because it's less calories. Right. So I'll usually get the almond milk that's either, you know, the 60 calorie or the 30 okay. calorie because it keeps the calories low. So, Gigi, I want you to pour in there and put in there about, let's see, actually, we'll put our, we'll put our um, ounces in here. Let's do about 12 ounces of the actual milk. Okay. Okay. This is going to be good, you guys. This one right here because it's going to have peanut butter, it's going to have chocolate, and it's going to have banana. Okay? That's probably about 12. Yes, that's excellent right there. Now, you guys, what you'll do is, is that you'll do about 12 ounces of your almond milk. Okay? And so when you put your almond milk in there, you're going to add your peanut butter. You can actually either add two tablespoons of peanut butter. I usually like to use the organic, okay. um, the natural peanut right. butter because I use it's better. Also. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I also like to use something called PB Fit. I was. Because it's less calories. Now, that okay. show y'all I really like PB Fit because right. I ate it all and I didn't go to the mm. store and get a new one. But I did save some <laughs> for the show. So this is the PB Fit, and all it is is a peanut butter powder, right. and it's basically gluten-free. It's vegan, okay? Mm -hmm. And this shake that we're making is actually going to be a vegan shake that they're going to see. Okay. I want you to take about um, one tablespoon of the PB okay. and dump it in there for us, okay? Yeah, she generous. She liked the peanut butter. <laughs> Look, the best way to a fit girl's heart is through peanut butter. Yes. So, you guys, you can do regular peanut butter, but we like PB we Fit. We like, yes. It's easy, it's convenient. Now, let's do another half a banana okay, and cut that so right up there. Okay, so we already have half a banana. Yes. Mm hmm All right. Yes. So, I'm just going to break that off. Put that in. Good. Excellent. Now... One of the things is I'm going to add chocolate to this. Now, what I have in my hand is basically just a chocolate flavor pack, but you can use natural cocoa powder, okay? okay? You don't have to actually use these, but I like these. So just straight, regular cocoa powder. Cocoa powder, yep, that you would use for baking. So you can either get this so chocolate. cocoa powder is really bitter. Yeah, but that banana and that peanut butter is going to like set it up. Okay. Yes, because awesome. it's going to give you that chocolate okay. flavor. So let's go ahead and let's put this All chocolate right. pack in there. And that's basically like a teaspoon of um, chocolate. Chocolate powder. Okay, you guys? 
And so that's all of the cocoa powder that mm -hmm. you would need is about a teaspoon? Yep, okay. that's about awesome. it. Now the next thing you guys is that instead of using the regular vice shape, which is what most people love, we have something called the superfood. Now I love this one because this is all plant based. Okay. It's basically made out of six different plants, okay? Mm -hmm. It's got omegas in it, it's got um, aminos uh -huh. in it, it's got um, um, also two 25 vitamins and minerals, it's really great. And that so, is the superfood. Yes, that's the superfood. So I love this one. I'm on the superfood now. Okay. Uh, only because, you know, I really want to do more vegan stuff. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to take half of this pack and we're going to actually put it in there okay. as well, too. I'll let now you is open this that. Flavor? Oh, okay. This is a vanilla flavor. Yeah, it's a vanilla okay. flavor, which is going to give this that little kick to it as right. well, too. Mm -hmm. I like kick. So for you vegans or vegetarians that's looking for an alternative, you know, I love the superfood. It's it's great. It's low in calories. It gives us, you know, those six plant based. It's non GMO. There's no soy in it, you know, which really makes it great. Awesome. Okay. All right. We got that there. This then, is smelling good. Yes, it's, it's smelling, smelling good. Mm. Yes, with yeah. the peanut butter, the yeah. chocolate, and mm. the banana. And yeah. then what we're going to do is we're going to take our small cup and we're just going to add a couple of ice cubes because she likes it like a, you know, I'm milkshake ready. but ready. the ice is basically gonna make it cold that's what we're gonna do with yes. that right there okay all righty so we got that set up so we're gonna take our little top for our oyster this thing is awesome you're gonna see how smooth this actually smooths this up all righty so we're gonna get the thing attached there and we're gonna let it rip, let it rip. yes Okay. Well, two, both of these shakes are less than 300 calories. Okay. All right. Nice awesome. and smooth. You can actually pop the top off and drink it right out, or we'll make it nice and pretty for Miss G. Look at that. Yeah. This right oh, here, you yeah, guys, looks like a milkshake. Are the, is the peanut Ooh. butter delight? Okay. Yeah. Let you try that one out, Gigi. Let me know what you think. Mm. She said, mmm. So those of you that like milkshakes, this is the way to go. Those yes. of you that like smoothies, go with the Tropical mm. Orange Delight. So do you taste the peanut butter, the banana, and the mm. chocolate? Nice. And like I said, you guys, this is vegan. Okay? Delicious. As, exactly. So mm. we wanted to make sure that we hit all bases. So, you guys, if you need a yes. smoothie... This is the way to go. We'll put the recipe up easy. on our website. Yeah. And if you actually want a milkshake, these are great for meal replacements. Mm. Both of them are under 300 calories. And we've got our standard smoothie and our vegan milkshake right here. Awesome. Yes. So there you guys got it. This is us, you know, way making sure go, the nutrition. Mary. If you got the right nutrition, you're going to be successful mm. in the weight loss. That's uh, true. You guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with our wrap up. We're going to enjoy these shakes while we um take that break. <laughs> Mmm, that is so good. Mm -mm.